got a metal tank and the tank has got a bottom but no top. Got the dimensions of the tank, got the width, that's 1.9, got the, shall I put it there, 1.9, got the length, 2.7, and got the height, 1.3 meters in each case. The outside of the tank is to be painted with rust prevention paint. One litre of paint will cover 2.5 square metres and the cost of that litre is 4.99 pence per litre. Find the cost of the paint needed. So I'm going to paint the outside of this tank. So I'm going to paint this face, this face, the other side of this face, the other side of this face and the bottom. I'm going to paint one, two, three, four, five rectangles. I need to find the area of those five rectangles. And there are several ways of doing this. So you really must show your working out. Here's one way. There are two rectangles that are 1.9 meters by 1.3 meters. This one here and this one around the other side. And there are two of them. There are two rectangles which are 2.7 by 1.3. This one and that one at the back. And there are two of them. And there's one rectangle which is the bottom which is 2.7 by 1.9. So if I find that area, and I find that area, and I find that area, and add them together, I will get the total area that needs to be painted. That is just one way of doing this question. There are other ways, but whatever way you choose, you really should end up with the same answer. Now this you could actually type in the calculator, just the way it stands is so useful with these sort of type calculators. Let's see if we can do it. So, open brackets. 2 multiplied by 1.9 multiplied by 1.3 close brackets plus open brackets 2.7 multiplied by 1.3 multiplied by 2 close brackets plus, open brackets, 2.7 multiplied by 1.9, close brackets, equals. That's the total area to be painted. That's in square metres. Calculator answer, units. Now each square meter is going to cost me £4.99. But I need to know how much paint I'm going to have to buy. So I need to read that sentence there a bit carefully. One litre will cover 2.25 square meters. This is how much I've got to cover. Each litre will cover 2.5 square meters. In other words, I need to find out how many 2.5s there are in 17.09. I need to work this out. That will work out how many litres of paint I need to buy. Now again, keeping the calculator, that's when the window my calculator, so I can do answer, divided by 2.5. Now, this is where the sensible answer part comes into it. This is the area that is to be painted. This is the amount of paint that I need. But you can't buy that. 
you have to go along and buy seven litres. That's called a calculator answer. The seven is called eight cents of answer. And each litre is going to cost four pounds ninety nine. So in fact, using the answer button this time is going to make it go wrong. I actually need to type in 7 litres, 7, multiplied by £4.99. 34 pounds Now don't be tempted to round that up to a sensible answer. That is correct. That is what you would pay. You might give them £35, but you expect 7 pence back in change. There's a lot to that question that can go wrong. And actually, it's worth 5 marks. And obviously, if you do everything, show you're working, you get all 5 marks. But should you make a silly slip somewhere, you won't get 5 marks. But you could still get 4 or three. It will depend on if you've shown you're working out and the examiner can see information. I mean, if you can see that, 17.09, you're bound to get at least a mark. If you can see that you've done a division, you'll get a mark. If you can see that your division is correct and you've rounded it to seven, you can get a mark. So there's going to be one mark for the actual answer of £34.93 pence. and there's going to be one, two, three, four. where's the other one? Well it'll be somewhere for showing you working out. Five marks altogether on that question. So worthwhile showing all you working out. Moving on. Number nine. Now this is such a short little question after that one, isn't it? Need to convert 4.5 square metres to square centimetres. There are 100 centimetres in a metre. But in a square centimetre, That's how many square centimetres there are in a square metre. A hundred times a hundred. In other words, a one with four noughts. It's no trick question, but you can be sure some people are just going to work out by using a hundred. Instead of a hundred hundreds. Ten thousand. So 4.5 square metres needs to be multiplied by 10,000 to change it to square centimetres. Now whether you use a calculator or not at this stage is entirely up to you because it is a calculator paper. But hopefully you know that you can move the dot one, two, three, four places which means over the five and we need three noughts on the end to change metres to centimetres you multiply by a hundred but to change square metres to square centimetres you need to multiply a hundred hundreds in other words ten thousand two marks for this question I suspect you'd get them both if you got the right answer but one for the working out one for the answer is always a good way of thinking